That's better. I'd like to call to order the special stormwater board meeting for September 7th, 2002. Uh, it looks like we do have a quorum with only one of the members, Bob Moreland, not present at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> we've all received the minutes. Uh, they look good to me. Janet, how do they look to you? Good. Look good. Thank you. In a second, please. I'd like to uh, take a, make a motion to approve the minutes from our last meeting of October 25th, 2021. It's been that long ago. I second the motion. I'll set, I'll, you're first and I'll second. Oh, I'm first, okay, because okay. you're... Okay. First and seconded. Okay. Those that approve the meeting, raise their hand. Aye. Aye. Those nay. It has been passed. Thank you. Uh, unfinished, unfinished business, we have none. New business, a public hearing, the OCRA stormwater grant. Good afternoon, board. Mike Klein-Peter with Klein-Peter Consulting. I'm an OCR certified grant administrator. Uh, we're here today because we're going to have a public hearing for the OCR stormwater grant. I've got about six or seven bullet points I got to read through since this is a federal grant and then I'll turn it over to Mary to talk about the project and what we're looking to do. Uh, notice for this public hearing today was posted in the Indianapolis Star on August 25th. The purpose of the hearing is to discuss our grant application. We're applying for $600,000 in grant funds and we will, we will be contributing $801,960 in the stormwater funds. We have a proposal due to the Indiana Office of Community and Rural Affairs on September 30th. We want to make sure that citizens are informed about the project and have an opportunity to voice any concerns or support for the project. Funds available for this program are limited. Uh, OCRA scores all the applications and then they start funding until they run out of money. So they don't have a certain score you got to get to. You just try to score as high as you can to be eligible for funding. Uh, award announcements are going to be mid-January, so we'll find out mid-January if we're awarded. If we are awarded, uh, we go through a signature process through March, and then we'll bid the project out May, June. Construction will be middle of next year. So uh, we've got a timeline there, which I'll go through here in just a minute, but I'll turn it over to Mary to tell you about the project, where it's located, and what we're looking to do. Hi, I'm Mary Atkins with Wessler Engineering, and um, I handed out a, um, an exhibit that kind of shows the project area. It's um, in a neighborhood called the Brookside Park neighborhood, which is uh, north of 62nd Street and west of Richard. And uh, you can see that there um, are storm sewers shown in green, and uh, but some of the other roads within that neighborhood um, do not have storm sewers, and so those are shown kind of in the yellow color, and that's what the project is, to put um, inlets and storm sewers in the roads within the right-of-way um, to help with drainage problems in, in that area of town. Um, there have been um, uh, complaints in that area, and uh, the infrastructure in the streets is deteriorating because of bad drainage, so um, there is a, a need for that um, so that the, re the uh, residents in that area can benefit. Um, the pipe that we're planning to put in the ground is um, reinforced concrete pipe and um, ranging in size from 12 inch diameter up to 24 inch diameter. And uh, the total project cost, including construction and non-construction cost, is um, $1,401,960. So that's a preliminary estimate. And so um, as Mike was explaining, there's a $600,000 grant that um, we'll be applying for to uh, try to get this project funded. So if there are any questions, that's kind of a summary of the project, and um, I'm here to answer any questions about about that. You say this is for new storm sewer installation and maybe replacement of old, or? Uh, I think that there is a, a small amount of replacement where there's some pipe that needs to be upsized, but uh, the majority of it is new. Okay. Janet, do you have any questions? Um, not at this time. Okay. So 
Just going over the timeline you have in front of you, um, there's a couple things that are still ongoing on this project. The preliminary engineering report, it's pretty much done. It just needs to be put in a okra format. So uh, Mary's finishing that up. I'm currently working on the environmental review, which is a requirement since this is federal funds. Today is the first public hearing. We have a proposal due to okra on September 30th. They'll then come out and do a site visit in October. We'll do a second public hearing at the council meeting in October, and then we'll submit an application on November 18th. Uh, award announcements are mid-January. Project out to bid around mid-April with construction starting June, July next year if, if we're successful and everything goes well. So with that, uh, to, for the public hearing, if we'll just open it up for public comment is the last thing we need to do. Okay. Do we have any public comments out there? I don't see any. See none, hearing none. Make a motion. Yeah. Motion to close it. I make a motion to close the uh, special meeting. I second. I'll first. <laughs> yep. There's only two of us. <laughs> Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. We're closed. Moving on, it looks like we're looking to do the approval of the 2023 proposed budget. Hello, everyone. Um, I'll keep this pretty quick, uh, I'll try to be brief. Um, with Shree not here, I'm just gonna go through a couple bullet points that I have, um, and I'll kind of do a recap on where we started and where we're at now. Um, so if you open up uh, the little pamphlet that I gave you and look at page three, um, under the 2021 actuals, just to recap, um, we came in with a net revenue of 2.2 million, and that is from receiving um, in 2021, kind of a negotiated amount um, of 2020 fees and then we received all of 21 so we ended up in a pretty good position uh, given the timing we didn't have enough time to spend it all but that's helped build up pretty significant cash reserves um, in 22 it looks like we're currently projecting to spend um, 2 million very minor net revenue of 172,000 um, for our 23 budget um, it's a little bit closer we're looking at a net revenue of about 2500 and so i'll kind of pivot to page two so kind of going backwards where you can see the accomplishments and goals that shri has kind of listed out here um, when you look at uh, some of these uh, you can see what we're spending on this year we created and implemented a tracking system for stormwater complaints and in some of these things even renee may actually have some input if you have any further questions on on what these are um, and he did mention that they were replaced or repaired several storm sewers causing sinkholes along streets which is great um, and then uh, this is new televised and cleaned storm pipes and manholes um, that were causing backups and I won't go through each one, but I'll jump to the 23. So some of the things that are remaining, we actually just heard about one of them. And number two there is identify eligible stormwater projects and apply for OCHRA grant. Um, so it sounds like that's, that's well on its way. I um, mean, that is funded in the 23 budget. Um, so at the bottom, you see the three major highlights he's looking to accomplish with this budget. Um, constructing Rainbow Lane and Pine Hill. Um, developing a stormwater asset management system, and then continuing along the OCA grant line is looking for additional grant opportunities because we want to maximize these funds as much as possible. Uh, but in a good sense, we're ending 23 with this proposed budget with a significant cash reserve. So we have funding that can um, help sustain any unexpected expenditures. Um, and if we find any more additional grants uh, and we need funding, we have that as well. So we're in a really good cash position. Um, ending in 22 and in 23 as you move through this pamphlet here it's just detailed expenditures so the actual individual accounts whereas the page three is more of just a summary by category but um, that is our 23 budget very straightforward nicely done you did this yeah about 15 minutes ago <laughs> run through it thank you sir thank you thank you Any comments from board members? No. I know. Thank you. Comments from administration? See none. Uh, citizens comments? Sorry? Second to pass the budget. 
Okay, all right. I'll make a motion to pass the budget as written. Second the motion. I'll make the first. All in favor, raise your hand, aye. Aye. Thank you. All those in, not in favor, nay. Passes. Okay, thank you, appreciate it. Obviously, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> Bob appreciates it today. Okay, well, I make a motion for adjournment. So move. Second. Shall I first or second? <laughs> Go ahead for adjournment. We're adjourned. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.